to host uh, COP15 in 2025. And also, let me thank the Secretary General and their team for already showing tremendous uh, the enthusiasm in assisting us as we prepare uh, for COP15. Chair and all contracting parties here present, let me assure you that we are ready. Uh, we have presented the national, the national committee to run with the, the preparations and that includes all critical and relevant ministries and agencies. Uh, with your indulgence, Chair, allow me to invite Madam Chikaponya to give a synopsis of the state of preparedness for Zimbabwe to host COP15 in Victoria Falls in 2025. Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank you, Zimbabwe. to give you a Zimbabwean warm greetings where we say Mahalini, Linjani. Zimbabwe is sending you their greetings and we are most grateful for giving us an opportunity to host this important uh, event in Zimbabwe. Um, let's move to the next slide. The president himself of Zimbabwe is saying that the people of Zimbabwe extend their warm invitation um, to all contracting parties of RANSA Convention on Wetlands, to development partners, RAN state actors, and the private sector players to grace the 15th Conference of Contracting Parties to the RAMSA Convention on Wetlands from 24 to 31 July in Victoria Falls. This is a momentous occasion where we will seek a united front to conserve, protect, and wisely use wetlands at national and regional and global levels. The Zimbabwean government will work tirelessly with the standing committee to realize a successful COP. This comes straight from our president's office. Next slide. And then again, we have um, our Minister of uh, Environment. We say the Zimbabwean, the Zimbabwean people considers wetlands as a strategic resource vital to sustaining life and an economic good that is often limited. The country is endowed with various types of wetlands, natural, man-made spanning from the eastern highlands and the east of the shores of Lake Kariba and the west from the mighty Zambezi River and the north to the great Limpopo River in, the, in South Africa and the host of dams, rivers and glaciers in between. Next slide. Zimbabwe uh, has uh, seven Ramsar sites, namely Victoria Falls, Chinoy Caves, Mana Pools, Mona Vogle, Lake Chibero and Manyane, Cleveland Dam, Drifontaine Grasslands. The country is host to the iconic Vic Falls and all these other um, size that has uh, alluded to, Zimbabwe's vision is to have healthy wetlands within its territory and beyond, contributing to the sub-national, to national and global economies and the eradication of poverty while maintaining or improving their integrity. Next slide. Zimbabwe greatly, is greatly honored to host the 15th Conference of Contracting Parties to the Ramsar Convention on the Wetlands in the home of the majestic Victoria Falls from 24 to 31 July 2025. We want to see an enhanced regional and global cooperation and partnership for healthy wet, wetland ecosystems post-COP15. Like what the other neighbors of us in the region have alluded to, this is important to Africa and the Sadak region. This is we are so grateful in the Sadak region for having this. Next slide. Our promise. We promise to deliver a seamless event. I would like to assure you that we have uh, professional conference organizers that are internationally acclaimed in Zimbabwe. And we are definitely going to give you uh, a seamless event. We have a well-coordinated organizing committee comprising of strategic government ministries. 
we have a national convention group dedicated to ensure that events of this magnitude are successfully hosted. I, I hail from the National Convention Bureau, hence I am here to give you assurance that uh, we're going to have a great event. Our suppliers of equipment have proven experience and success of supplying audiovisual requirements to conferences of similar magnitude. We have suppliers that have done jobs internationally from Zimbabwe itself. Zimbabwe has internet connectivity which matches required standards and allow for live streaming, video conferencing, surfing, and browsing. We always make sure that we're on point. Next slide. Preparation. We have the National Organizing Committee that has been established that's focusing on strategic areas of the conference, preparations, members of teams are drawn from ministries, parastatals, and government agencies with expertise in respective areas. The teams are as follows. Before I move on to the teams, this is how we treat such conventions. We take them to the ministerial level because they're important to us. We all put our heads together to make sure that we have good events in Zimbabwe. So going to the teams will be conference venue and accommodation team that will ensure that uh, you get accommodation of your choice when you come to Zimbabwe for the, for the uh, convention to ensure that the venue is set according to expectations, host agreement, and to, the, to ensure that delegates have accommodation options. We have varied accommodation options which we will show later on in the presentation. We also put together the transport, logistics, and port of entry facilitation uh, team You'll be mesmerized when you get to Zimbabwe. You come at times to get people on the inside, and we find we work closely with our airports company of Zimbabwe to make sure that the delegates are pampered and they're well taken care of. Next slide. And then we also have the communication and information committee to ensure that the conference website is finalized on time. The committee will be the focal point for any conference-related communication with the press and the stakeholders. Health and environment. We would like to ensure that we have health centers which are adequately manned during the conference. And to also ensure that the venue is clean and the environment is well preserved. Next slide. Entertainment. Uh, tools and excursions. We just sure sure that you are going to enjoy yourself in terms of the entertainment that we are going to offer you when you come to Zimbabwe. We have well coordinated social events and we identify entertainment where needed to coordinate events such as official opening. We also put just a, a little bit of entertainment so that we showcase uh, our culture and what we are made of in Zimbabwe protocol and security to ensure that VIPs are properly hosted and that there is adequate security for the VIPs and all delegates. So we find that we all come together to make sure that we have all areas covered. And the finance committee to ensure that service providers are paid on time. Next slide. This is just um, a synopsis of what I've presented in terms of the uh, committees, a summary of the committees that I've just alluded to earlier on. Next slide. The host city for, for the conference is the Victoria Falls. And we have alerted the Victoria Falls Council of the upcoming conference. We are working closely with them. The host city will set up a task team to mirror the National Organizing Committee. This is what we do when we organize uh, our conferences. We have a committee in the area mirroring the National Organizing Committee. This is to ensure that the conference is hosted smoothly. Next slide. Host City, Victoria Falls, is the home of one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the majestic Victoria Falls. This is a must visit. So we call upon delegates to come Call your friends, even bring your families that are going to 
be there to look after you and to keep you happy and also enjoy after the conference, go and see other beautiful places that we have. The tourism capital is easily accessible through, uh, through air, through the recently refurbished Victoria Force International Airport. We have a state-of-the-art airport that has been recently refurbished, well connected by road and rail, a city renowned for warm and friendly people. We are warm and friendly. I'm sure those that came for the site visit will attest to that. Next slide. Host venue, the Elephant Hills Resort. This is just an aerial view of the Ele Elephant uh, Resort. And then uh, the, the, the selected venue for the conference is Elephant Hills Resort. Uh, bookings have been done to secure the dates. We've already sealed the dates with the, with the venue for 23 to 31 July 2025. Next slide. Conferencing capacity, the following rooms can uh, comfortably house uh, uh, the following things, medical center, secretary general's office and meeting room, service center, uh, those that will need prayer rooms, you will find them there, standing committee meeting room, finance subgroup and the SIPA oversight panel credential committee, a standing committee and conference room. Next slide. Complementary support conference structure. The following rooms uh, to, be, to be accommodated in a semi uh, permanent marquee structure. It's a structure that is out of this world. Some of you might say, oh, Zimbabwe would want to take us into a marquee. Remember, I said that our service providers have even done international uh, service provision. This is going to be an air conditioned. Uh, marquee, state of the art, glass panel, and you are really going to enjoy and you're going to be seeing the Victoria Falls, the rainbows of the Victoria Falls in Zoom conference. So the main plenary session will be there, the regional meetings, working groups, side event rooms, office, offices group, A and B, registration, document distribution area, pigeon halls for May, Medical uh, Media Center, Exhibition, Interpreters Lounge, other rooms for rental. You find these under this uh, facility. Next slide. Accommodation. Uh, the approved accommodation facilities will be listed on the website, listed with the rates on the website. This comprises of a varying classes of accommodation from luxury to standard. Specially discounted conference rates will be negotiated with suppliers at least six months before the convention. We've already started engaging, and everybody in Zimbabwe is excited and are ready to give conferencing rates. Next slide. This is just uh, some pictures to show some of the hotels that we have. We have the Victoria Falls Rainbow Hotel, Elephant Camp that overlooks the Zambezi River. I'm sure you can see from um, the, 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 the site that, that is up there, the middle picture, and we've got the Victoria Falls Hotel. It's actually listed in, in one of, as one of the leading hotels of the world. Next slide. We have the Victoria Falls River Lodge. The Victoria Falls River Lodge is a new facility that came up during COVID time. So we've got uh, fresh spanking facilities and Palm River Hotel. The Palm River Hotel is also new. That was built during COVID. And the Victoria Falls Hotel, of course, which will overlook the Victoria Falls Bridge. That is over a hundred years. A spectacular view for you for the Victoria Falls. Next slide. We have the 251 Victoria Falls uh, Apartments, Nimble Mills Apartments, Kumula Apartments. This is just to show, to show the variety of accommodation facilities we have. Next slide. Transport. We have airport pickups that will be done for delegates arriving in Victoria Falls. We, we as the National Convention Bureau, we come up with your arrival and departure schedule so that we make sure that you don't miss anyone. We have airport pickups 
who we have designated shuttle services that will be provided for daily guests uh, who will stay at the complex designated hotels. So we we'll pick the delegates uh, all around Victoria Falls to the center where the conference is going to take place. Accommodation facilities are five minutes within reach to each other in Victoria Falls, very close to, to each other. So we have um, actually race start and high standard shuttle services. Next slide. The field tours, field tours will be offered as part of the conference program Delegates to pre register their preferred selected tours. Zimbabwe is home to quite a number of small wetlands that have benefited our rural communities, mainly with the following. Uh, we've got Casibo, is one such uh, place that we that is of note. It has it is provided food, um, there has been cultivation and wild goods out of that, pastures for livestock water provision for irrigation. So there's a lot of market gardening and boat culture that takes place and for domestic uses, water for domestic use, and it has resulted in climate regulation. Next slide. The proposed field tours were the Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls is a Ramsey site. Casibo Wetland Integrated Catchment Management Project and the Zambezi National Park. Pre and post conference excursions. Next slide. There's a lot for you to enjoy in Zimbabwe. We always say that Victoria Falls has over a hundred activities, which you can choose from. The list is endless. We have the tour of the falls, sunset cruise. Just imagine cruising on the Zambezi River having a drink, a sundowner. That would be exciting for all of us, isn't it? Game drives, canoe tours, buggy jumping, the adrenaline junkies. I'm inviting you to come and experience the, the buggy jumping. Canopy tours, village tours, uh, Victoria Falls, Wange two day tour. And then we also have the Wange Lawai tours and Manapu's trip to be a pre or a post tour for you. Next slide. Visa and passports. All visitors require valid passports. The government of Zimbabwe will, will arrange for all delegates to get visas on arrival. Remember I say that we also get a list of the delegates that are coming in and out of that we, we end up knowing that this country needs a visa and you all have visas at the port of entry. Be rest assured that you get your visas. Visas can be applied online. You can start applying online, but you need not to worry because we've got a, 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 an option on our visa application that says conferencing. That makes everything easy. And they will know that you're coming for a conference and you get your visa on, on port of entry. Zimbabwe is a dedicated conference in visa category, which allow for quick and easy application. This is what I've been referring to. Next slide. Access by air. We have uh, from then to to Zimbabwe, we have Lufthansa being operated by Eurowings into Victoria Falls. We have uh, first jet that does Maun in Zimbabwe with Mark Air that does Kasane and Victoria Falls. We have BACOM Air and Fast Jet, if you look under Jobek, that comes from Jobek it's straight into Victoria Falls. We have Airlink and Kenya Airways that does Victoria Falls and Cape Town. And then we have Mel's Fruits with Fast Jet that does Mel's Fruits into, into Victoria Falls. We have Air Zimbabwe, which is our local distributor that also does Victoria Falls. And Kenya from Nairobi to, from wherever they're coming from to Nairobi and then, and then Victoria Falls. And we also have Ethiopian Airlines. We have other airlines that will be flying into Victoria Falls by 2025. We have um, Qatar that is promising to come to uh, Victoria Falls. I'm sure by 2025, Qatar will be doing Victoria Falls. Next slide. 
I think we've outlined, I've outlined in the airlines that uh, um, fly into, into, into Victoria Falls and this fly into Harare and then you can connect with our low cost airlines into Victoria Falls and you can travel straight into Victoria Falls like I alluded to in the beginning. Next slide, social events. We host exciting bush dinners. That's in a bush where you have uh, a lot of things happening there. You can also dine while facing watering holes with animals there for you. Next slide. As for our weather, we pride ourselves with a pleasant temperate climate with 365 days of sunshine and 10 hours per day on average. Pleasant, pleasant. Um, temperate climate. The seasons are the reverse of those in the northern hemisphere. We meet summer and Christmas and winter lasting from May to August. And be rest assured that the uh, rainforest will be at its fullest and will enjoy walking at the rainforest. Next slide. This is just to show the other uh, international conferences that we have hosted. We have hosted Transform Africa, and that was done in 2023. And it was one of the most successful conferences that we hosted. Next slide. This is also just reference of some of the conferences that we've hosted. Uh, UNWTO General Assembly, which we co-hosted with Zambia and uh, the International Conference on AIDS and STIs in Africa in 2015. Believe, believe you or me, this conference has come back. It's also going to be hosted this year because they thoroughly enjoyed Zimbabwe and we are hosting it again this year. And we're expecting 11,000 delegates into Zimbabwe. So we are capable, don't be afraid. Right, and then the Ramza website is under construction. I'm sure in the next uh, few weeks or so, a month, it will start flying and we'll start uh, putting information on it. Next slide. Right, I, we have a video that we want to showcase to you and we also have uh, magnet stickers that have a QR code with a fact sheet on Victoria Falls and Zimbabwe in general and we also have a tourist map that's going to be distributed. I thank you for choosing Zimbabwe. We look forward to working with Zimbabwe. Thank you so much. So we have